I don't think that there's a more unique person, let alone a musician, than good old Louis Capaldi. He's funny, can sing really well, and has looks that rival Harry Styles. So let's talk about how he got here. On October 7th, 1996, Louis Mark Capaldi was born in Glasgow, Scotland as sort of an immaculate conception since his father had recently got a vasectomy. So with that in mind, it seemed like Louis himself was destiny in the making. And so I guess it made sense that it didn't take all that long before he found his passion at age 4, while during a family trip to France, he found a love for performing after he sang on stage. Fast forward a few years, and then at age 9, Louis learned to play guitar and eventually began writing songs and went on to play gigs at pubs with his older brother, usually having to to sneak in because he was underage. For most, it takes a decent bit of time before someone finds their passion, but for Lewis, music and performing was it. He didn't want to do anything else. In 2014, when Lewis was 17 years old, he took part in a three-day tour as a part of the Hit the Road project by the Scottsdale Musical Center alongside a few up-and-coming artists. Soon after that, eventual manager Ryan Walter discovered him from iPhone footage recorded in his bedroom and uploaded to his SoundCloud. The day after seeing it, Ryan flew from America to Britain to hear Lewis play live, and the two hit it off from there. Although he was obviously talented, Lewis still had to finish up schooling at good old New College Lanarkshire, definitely said that wrong, with a diploma in music two years later. After finishing up there, it didn't take all that long until Lewis gained some traction following the release of his debut single, Bruises, the following year. Even though he was unsigned, the song quickly gained 28 million streams, breaking records all the while as he caught the attention of the German division of the Universal Music Group and then was eventually assigned to the Vertigo Berlin division. Only a few months after all this, Lewis released his first EP, Bloom, and then supported Rag and Bone and Jake Bug on their fall tours that year. Then a bit later, in early 2018, Lewis joined the German band Milky Chance, then was invited by good old pal Nal Horn a few months later on his tour, and to make it even crazier, that may open for Sam Smith before he went on his own tour across the UK and Europe. That summer he performed at festivals all across the world, and then that November released his second EP called Breach, with the debut single Tough. This one little track from the EP titled Someone You Loved, let's just say it popped off, as it not only charted in 29 countries, reached number one on the UK single chart for seven weeks, but was number one on the Billboard Hot 100. All of that alone was crazy, but the song was even nominated for a Grammy, and through doing so, helped Lewis find an audience for himself. With all this success, a debut album was inevitable, which eventually became divinely uninspired to a hellish extent. Not only did the album just reach number one, but it stayed there five weeks straight, and upon that was a best-selling album in the UK in five years. Keep in mind that this was in 2019, only two years after he released his first single, Bruises. So the rise to stardom was ridiculous, and had him perform at countless festivals and even open for Ed Sheeran that summer. All of this was crazy enough, but it only got crazier after later that year, Lewis released an extended version of his debut album, along with the single, Before You Go, which as you're probably well aware of, dominated the charts. <laughs> Already, Lewis was selling out arenas and was going on a tour with his good pal Nal Horan until the pandemic decided to change all that. At the 2020 Brits Award, Lewis won the Best New Artist and Best Song. So hey, at least he got some hardware going into the lockdown. Even after the lockdown lifted, Lewis postponed his 2021 tour in order to work on his sophomore album. So it wasn't until the following year that he did the festival circuit once again in preparation for his new stuff. The lead single, Forget Me, was released in early September 2022, and that same month, his frozen pizza line, Big Sexy Pizza, made an appearance in UK supermarkets, Iceland, and Tesco. Eventually, he released singles, Pointless, and Wish You the Best, in preparation for his second album, Broken by the Desire to be Heavenly Sent, which dropped in May of this year. All this in mind, it seemed like things were going well for Lewis, but his anxiety and nervous tics had developed to an alarming point, which was very apparent in his Netflix doc that released this April, with him having to cancel shows and even take an indefinite break from touring in order to focus on his mental and physical health. The tics had gotten to the point where he couldn't even finish songs, with fans helping him sing the rest of the lyrics, which I can only imagine is pretty unbearable. But nonetheless, here we are in July of 2023, and Lewis is in the midst of his indefinite hiatus. And honestly, I hope the best for him, because he's a wonderful guy in person at his core, and honestly, the funniest lad in all of music. Someone called me Lewis Calamari. Capaldi doesn't even sound like Calamari. On a real note, I wish the best for Lewis, and although he puts up this front of being good and all that jazz, I really truly hope that he knows that he has millions of people who got his back through thick and thin and love him to bits. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. You can subscribe and like if you want. I don't really care. But anyways, I'll see you all soon and have Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.